This is our virus overview figure, and in this video we'll be discussing herpes simplex virus 1 and herpes simplex virus 2. For simplicity, I'll refer to these as HSV1 and HSV2. You can see both of them right here. These are kind of a beast, but super high yield for step one, so I promise you that spending the time on this video and memorizing this information will be worth its weight in gold. This story is all about an epic battle between Hercules and Zeus. Hercules sounds like herpes, which should help you remember that this image is all about herpes simplex virus, or HSV. Okay, before we go much further, let's lay down a few ground rules for viruses in general. First, just like in our bacteria videos, we'll make all of the DNA virus images have a lot of dark colors, like blue and purple. Our RNA virus videos will have a lot of warm colors, like red, yellow, and orange. So dark colors for DNA viruses, and warm colors for RNA viruses. Next, assume that all of our viruses are enveloped unless we indicate otherwise. A non-enveloped or naked virus will be indicated by a naked person in our videos. So if there aren't any naked people, then assume that the virus is enveloped. Finally, assume that all of the viruses are single-stranded unless we show something in the image that indicates otherwise. Double-stranded viruses will usually be represented with two prominent things that are parallel to one another, just like a double-stranded genome. If we return to this overview image, you can see that all DNA viruses are double-stranded except parvovirus. Most of the RNA viruses are single-stranded, so we won't have any symbols to indicate this. It should just be assumed. All right, with these basic ground rules, let's continue discussing HSV. Like I just mentioned, dark colors represent DNA viruses. So the purple blue sky in this image should help you remember that HSV1 and HSV2 are both DNA viruses. Next, you can see that Zeus has sent his loyal snakes after Hercules. The two snakes can be seen coming out of the temple in the background and are moving directly parallel to one another. These two parallel lines should help you remember that HSV is double-stranded. Next, notice that there is a pathway that goes in a straight line to Zeus's temple. You can see Zeus over here with his hammer. The straight line is here to help you remember that HSV is linear. All right, everything we've talked about so far is true of both HSV1 and HSV2. Now let's focus on HSV1. To help you compartmentalize this, you should know that most of the information in the image will be about HSV1 scattered throughout the image. Later, we'll introduce some more characters to the scene on the right bottom side of the image by the tree right here. And all of this information will be regarding HSV2. So now notice that we've shown some mist to the scene to add some cinematic effects to this epic battle. The fog or mist was used a lot in our bacteria videos and is here to help you remember that HSV1 is transmitted through respiratory droplets. 